Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. The upper and lower rear control arms on your 79 through 2004 Mustang work together to put power to the ground by stopping the rear from moving around and also stopping it from rotating. In my opinion, when replacing control arms, you should replace all four at the same time. If you replace just the lowers, you can put a lot more strain on the worn out uppers. We've already installed BMR's lower control arms on our 2001 Bullet, so today we're going to finish off the install by installing the BMR uppers. We're going with the BMR solid tubular uppers in the hammer tone finish to match the lowers. Just like the lowers, these are available in both the hammer tone or the red finish. Come with high quality polyurethane, greasable bushings, and everything needed for installation. For this installation, a lift and a pull jack or a jack and jack stands, half inch ratchet, three eighth ratchet, an assortment of shallow and deep 18 millimeter sockets, and an 18 millimeter wrench. We're going to take the upper control arms off one side at a time. First thing you want to do is support the rear. It's not going to go anywhere. When you put the control arm on and try to line the bolts up, it's easier to have it supported to line it up. We can move on to the rear bolt. Here you can see the obvious quality differences between our BMR lowers and our factory. See how fit's stamped, it's all real thin metal, flange is much heavier duty, overall design is a huge improvement over factory. Put a little supplied grease on the new control arm and put it up into place. It's where you may need to adjust a little bit to be able to get it to line up. Install the nuts and tighten down. Repeat the process on the other side and your installation is finished. If you're looking to keep the solid axle rear in your 79 through 04 Mustang from moving around and rotating acceleration, you definitely want to replace the upper control arms if they're worn out. The insulation is not too bad. Some of the bolts are a little tough to get to, but overall, you can do it in around two hours. You'll be back on the road in no time.